Imagine a massive ship sailing across the vast ocean only to be discovered completely deserted. That, my dear viewers, is the baffling tale of the Mary Celeste. In the year of 1872, the Mary Celeste, a magnificent brigantine of American origin, was a sight to behold. She was over 100 feet long and 25 feet wide, a titan on the sea designed to conquer the waves and weather any storm. Her sails, large and robust, were ready to harness the wind and her sturdy construction promised a safe journey to her passengers and crew. This grand vessel, set to journey from New York City to Genoa, Italy, was under the command of Captain Benjamin Briggs, a seasoned mariner known for his discipline and dedication. Alongside him were his wife, Sarah, and their two-year-old daughter, Sophia. A small but experienced crew of eight men, hand-picked by Briggs himself, completed the ship's complement. The Mary Celeste set sail on the 7th of November under clear skies and favorable winds. The city's skyline gradually receded into the distance as the ship made its way out into the open sea. The cargo hold was filled with over 1,700 barrels of industrial alcohol, a highly flammable and risky cargo, but the crew was well trained and alert to the dangers. And so they voyaged forth, the Mary Celeste slicing through the waters with purpose and determination. The captain, his family and the crew, all with their respective duties and roles, were ready to face whatever the sea might throw at them. Little did they know that their journey was to become one of the greatest maritime mysteries of all time. The ship that left New York that fateful November day was full of life and anticipation. It was a vessel filled with human stories, dreams and hopes. But when it was found a month later, it harbored only silence and unanswered questions. As they sailed off into the horizon, little did they know they were embarking on a voyage into the annals of mystery. A month later, on December 5th, another ship, the Dei Gratia, stumbled upon a chilling sight in the Atlantic Ocean. The crew of the Dei Gratia, on their own routine journey, encountered the enigma that would become the stuff of maritime legend. There, adrift in the vast expanse of the Atlantic, was the Mary Celeste. No signs of struggle, no indications of disaster, just a ship seemingly abandoned in haste. Imagine the scene. The crew of the DEI Gratia, cautiously boarding the Mary Celeste, their calls echoing unanswered through the deserted vessel. They found the ship in good condition, sails partially set with a lifeboat missing. The logbook's last entry, dated 10 days prior, gave no hint of distress or impending doom. The Mary Celeste was not a wreck, nor was she a ghost ship left to the mercy of the waves. She was seaworthy, her cargo of industrial alcohol untouched. Food and water supplies were ample, enough to last six months. The crew's personal belongings were undisturbed, everything in its place save for the people meant to be there. In the cabins, the crew's clothes were neatly folded, their pipes and tobacco waiting to be smoked. The captain's quarters held a child's toy, a sewing machine and a harmonica, silent reminders of the family that once lived and laughed there. It was as if the souls aboard the Mary Celeste had vanished into thin air. The ship's chronometer and sextant were missing, along with the ship's papers, but the captain's logbook remained. The last entry, November 25th, no weather problems, offered no clue as to why a seasoned captain and his experienced crew would abandon a perfectly sound ship. A ship meant for bustling activity was eerily silent. The creaking of the wood, the flapping of the sails, the lapping of the waves against the hull, the only sounds disturbing the uncanny silence. An entire ship ready to sail, but eerily silent. Where had everyone gone? The mystery of the Mary Celeste caught the attention of the world, sparking an investigation that would only deepen the enigma. The inexplicable circumstances surrounding the Mary Celeste and her vanished crew soon became the focus of intense scrutiny. An investigation was launched, seeking to uncover the truth behind the mystery. As part of the investigation, a forensic examination of the ship was conducted. The ship's logbook, the crew's personal belongings, and even the ship's cat were all intact. However, the crew members were nowhere to be found. The ship's single lifeboat was missing, suggesting the crew had abandoned ship, but why would they leave a perfectly seaworthy vessel? The questions mounted and the mystery deepened. In the midst of the swirling murk of speculation, a series of theories began to surface. Some proposed that foul play was at hand, that the crew of the Dei Gratia had murdered the Celeste's crew for insurance money. 
Others conjectured that a violent storm had forced the crew to abandon ship, or that a bout of madness induced by contaminated food or drink had driven them overboard. The case soon found its way to the courtrooms. The crew of the DEI Gratia, who had discovered the ghost ship and brought her into Gibraltar, were put on trial, suspected of foul play. The courtroom drama unfolded with bated breath as the world watched. However, after a thorough hearing, the crew of the D.I. Gracia were acquitted, the court found no evidence of foul play, and the D.I. Gracia crew were recognized for their bravery in bringing the Mary Celeste safely to port. Yet the riddle remained unsolved. The court hearings, the forensic examinations, the theories, none could shed light on the fate of the Mary Celeste's crew. The ship's eerie voyage, her discovery with no one on board, and the subsequent investigation all coalesced into an enduring maritime mystery. Despite the most rigorous investigations, the fate of the Mary Celeste's crew remained shrouded in mystery. The enigma of the Mary Celeste continues to confound us to this day, a haunting echo from the depths of maritime history. Uh, over the years, the Mary Celeste has inspired countless theories and speculations, each more intriguing than the last. One of the most enduring theories suggests that the crew encountered a fearsome sea monster. This hypothesis, while thrilling, lacks credible evidence, yet it persists feeding off our collective fascination with the unknown and unexplored depths of the ocean. Then there's the theory of pirates. Could the crew have been abducted by marauders of the sea? However, this theory seems unlikely as no signs of a struggle or violence were ever found on the ship. Also, all the cargo and the crew's personal belongings were left untouched. The idea of mutiny also surfaced. Did the crew, for reasons unknown, rise against their captain, leading to their collective disappearance? Again, the lack of any signs of a struggle on the ship casts a shadow of doubt over this theory. The most outlandish theory yet is the idea of alien abduction. Yes, some believe that extraterrestrial beings are responsible for the Mary Celeste mystery. However, without any substantial evidence, this theory remains in the realm of science fiction. Moving on to more plausible explanations, some speculate that a water spout, a tornado at sea, could have caused the crew to abandon ship. A water spout could have appeared suddenly, causing panic and leading the crew to hastily jump into a lifeboat only to be lost at sea. Another theory points to the cargo of alcohol the ship was carrying. It's speculated that alcohol fumes might have built up in the hold, leading the crew to fear an imminent explosion. They might have jumped ship, hoping to return once the perceived danger had passed, but tragically got lost in the vast expanse of the sea. Yet every theory, every speculation, only adds to the enigma that is the Mary Celeste. Despite the passage of time and the advances in technology, the mystery of the Mary Celeste remains unsolved, continuing to captivate and perplex us. More than a century later, the Mary Celeste continues to captivate and confound. Its tale, as haunting as a moonlit ghost ship adrift on a calm sea, has seeped into the very fabric of our cultural consciousness. It's a story that's inspired countless books, films and television shows, a mystery that's wormed its way into the collective imagination of the world. The Mary Celeste is more than just a puzzle to be solved. It's a dark, intoxicating dream that's touched the hearts of poets and writers, filmmakers and playwrights. The ship, once a tangible mass of timber and sail, has transformed into a symbol of the unknown, the unexplained, the unexplored. Arthur Conan Doyle, the mastermind behind Sherlock Holmes, was among the first to fall under the Mary Celeste's spell. In his short story, J. Habakkuk Jeffson's statement, Doyle weaves a chilling tale of mutiny and murder, a narrative that, while purely fictional, stoked public fascination with the Mary Celeste and cemented its place in maritime law. But the influence of the Mary Celeste extends far beyond the realm of literature. It's become a staple of popular culture, featuring in everything from episodes of Doctor Who to tracks by the band Dire Straits. It's a testament to the enduring allure of the unknown, a reminder that there are still mysteries out there waiting to be solved. The Mary Celeste, a ship found adrift with no sign of its crew, is one such mystery. It's a question mark etched into the annals of history, a riddle that's persisted for over 100 years. And despite the passage of time, despite the countless theories and speculations, the truth of what happened to the crew of the Mary Celeste remains shrouded in uncertainty. So what do you think happened to the crew of the Mary Celeste? 
Could it have been the work of pirates, a freak natural disaster, or something more unearthly? The mystery remains, waiting for you to un-